Hello and welcome to another episode of Brie Barely Bakes. Bryson is gonna be showing us his no-bake recipe that he is famous for in this household. We have done this recipe before on a live stream years ago, but Bri, you've made a few modifications to the recipe and we thought it would be nice to have a little concise video if you would like to follow along with this recipe, make it a little easier to do. My mom has always been a big believer of you make the stuff that you wanna eat and then you can eat anything, you just gotta make it the way you can eat it. Mm -hmm. We don't really do too much with the complex carbs, so we like sprouted everything as much as we can sprout it. So we have these sprouted oats. Obviously we're not sponsored by these guys. We just like it because that's sprouted oats. And then another thing is we're going to be using agave syrup. Normally you make it with sugar. I'm going to make it kind of like hard so you can eat it like a cookie. The agave syrup doesn't quite make it hard. It makes it more like a fudge, mm -hmm. but it's still really good because you can scoop it off of the spoon and, and eat it or scoop it into a bowl and eat mm -hmm. it. This recipe comes from an old uh, family heirloom recipe <laughs> it's, it's book. It's definitely old. <laughs> yeah, it's coming apart. I think we all have probably recipe books that are like that. This is a really a special one that comes from the family. First step is I always start with melting the butter and it's one cube. Agave syrup, a cup and three fourths. It's actually sweeter than sugar and you're supposed to use like less of it. Here's the thing, I like things sweet so I just put the same amount in. I'm actually gonna just turn this off for at the moment being. Mm -hmm. We'll warm it back up again. Usually when you're doing this with cane sugar you like melt the cane sugar as you go. With this it's already kind of melted. This is what we now need our cocoa. I think it's originally three tablespoons of cocoa. I'm adding mm. another tablespoon. Oh an extra. An extra. Oh wow. Okay. Just mom would actually go a full half a cup. But you're not as dangerous. I'm not as dangerous as that. We have our lovely goat's milk that we have. You are very concise. I just kind of pop it in there. If you're I, not, I really appreciate how orderly this is. You know, I really could take a few notes. <laughs> the thing is, if you're not concise, yeah. it doesn't taste the same. Well, no, that's kind of part of the surprise well, though, in my in my mind. You're not you know? wrong. But then at the same time, I mean, now you get the same delicious treat each know. time. So Burn her back. I'm on board with this. No matter how many times I measure this out, yeah. it still tastes different. Eat yeah. pinch of salt. And you know, I don't know. That much. And a little, <laughs> a little extra. extra. Just, just, just a little extra, just in case. Yeah, now we just sit and mix this, and it looks a little weird because it's liquidy because you use the agave syrup. It does thicken out. Well, at this point, we just got to get it to a boil. Let it boil for a minute. If you really wanted to, to get it more precise, you could pull a candy thermometer out oh, and put it in there. I thought like, this was precise. I think this is Get it like good. that way. <laughs> so we got it up to a boil now. Minute. So we set it for a minute. I always rush around at this point because I don't have the, all the ingredients next to me, and I'm like, ah, I need this. Ah! This may look a little weird that I'm filling up a bowl with oats, but this bowl is exactly three cups. Well, that's perfect. It's a half a cup of peanut butter. I usually just take a spoon and just... And then you also take it off the burner. Remember too that this is the agave syrup. It's not as thick as it normally would with like the sugar, but I estimate the peanut butter. That looks like about a half a cup. If you use nutty peanut butter, then you do get a little bit of a crunch. And the vanilla, I usually wait till the very last minute. So when you put the vanilla in, it just boils out. It's supposed to be a teaspoon, but I'm gonna estimate something. It's a teaspoon-ish. I think with the agave syrup, I found you sometimes have to add even more oats. Oh, um, cause it's not as thick, huh? Yeah, this is a little too liquidy. Okay. That's probably mm -hmm. If you add too many oats, it makes them too thin. If you're looking for like you where it kind of supports itself. I usually just lay out a nice good sheet of aluminum. You could probably use parchment paper or other kinds of paper or just slop it on the table. I would be sticky. And then what I do is I just put these out and I make little cookies like that. Right and, on. You know, we come by later and we usually just scoop them up with a spoon and put them in a bowl. See how even and perfect my cookies are here. Especially love the little bit we have over here oh, on yeah. the stove. That's a very brie barely big thing for you to do. Ta-da. Right can, on. I don't know. Do you want them like hard and faster too? I think you can refrigerate them. Now we just let them set for a while. Well, thank you so much, Bryson, for showing me how to do your no-bake recipe, the cookie. I know we really enjoy those around here. I think this is probably the most orderly episode that we've ever had of a Brie Barely Bake, so that's pretty exciting. <laughs> the first of its kind. If you try the recipe, we'd love to hear how you liked it. If you have a recipe that you'd like to share with us for us to try, we'd love to hear from you. We love trying new things, so you never it's know really with fun. us. Thank you so much for being a part of our family, being a part of this cooking with us, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Friday for another weekly peek. Bye! Bye! If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.